Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, I believe we can wait one minute more to wait our other guests. Yeah, I, I believe right now they're joining. Uh, yes, I think we can start. Yeah. Um, again, hello to everybody. I'm really happy to start our today's webinar. Um, my name is Gabriel. I'm business development manager at N Progression, and I'm really happy to start our today's session where, where we are planning to share with you our insights about how to dramatically reduce your uh, total time that we, which you spent on a Dynamics 365 uh, finance, finance and operation upgrades. And as a result, um, we want to share with you our solution, which uh, dramatically um, um, cost, uh, dramatically reduce your total cost of um, ownership uh, this platform. So I believe, yeah, we can start with our agenda. We will start uh, with a short brief introduction about our company. Uh, then we will touch. Then we'll touch uh, a bit uh, the key problems of power. Of platform update, um, then our experts uh, will show you live demo. Um, live demo with our, our solution where you can see how it works in real. Um, then we just um, touch a bit uh, the key advantages of our solution. And in the end, um, I believe we, we will offer you our today's special offer, which is available only in May and only for you, for, for, for our guest today. Um, and right now, I'm really happy to introduce our dear regular ex speakers, friends, experts, uh, Peter and Andrew. And you might probably know them uh, from previous webinars. Uh, Peter is our head of ERP department and Andrew, our technical architects. Uh, both of them are really experienced in Dynamics 365 and also in previous ver versions um, AX with uh, a lot of experience in implementing these projects uh, and with a lot of uh, successfully implemented projects as well. Um, thank you guys for being with us today. And just a few words about our company. I believe um, it will be true if I say that Ten Progression is a really trusted and reliable Microsoft ecosystem partner, and we help our clients to make their digital transformation. Um, and as you can see on the screen, um, we help a lot of clients and uh, we have, I can say that deep expertise in FMCG and pharma industries um, and we've been working with almost every farm company uh, in big farm and mm, almost mm, with top of um, 100 biggest fmcg companies and and also with us, other customers who, who are leading in their industries uh, but we are i can say that we are as a microsoft ecosystem partner not only help our clients to make um, digital transformation, but also we help them to make green tech transformation. And um, I can say that we are committing to being responsible in all in all that we do. And uh, we are trying to embed uh, sustainability principles in our business culture and processes. And we as a company um, been committed to managing our resources effectively, uh, cutting carbon emissions and becoming and at zero company by 2030. And just a few words about our product portfolio. As you can see on the screen, um, the main product uh, which we implementing is Dynamics 365. I mean, this group of products. Products. Uh, the second is Cloud for Sustainability. It's a new leading um, sustainability product. Um, Microsoft product which helps clients to drive their sustainability progress. And also we are 
using the power of Azure and Power Platform to to be, as I can say, um, uh, to to lead cross product approach to to help our clients to to offer them the most valuable and the most efficient uh, solution. And I believe that's all from from the beginning part. And right now, I want to um, to, to give a word to to Peter. Um, he he will share with us um, the insights about how to how to reduce the total cost of uh, of ownership of Dynamics 365 finance and op operations. Peter, the floor is yours. Thank you, Gabriel. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter, and uh, I would like to start with uh, something that you probably already know, um, but I think it's uh, very important and worth to mention. Uh, it's the fact that uh, not all updates uh, provided by uh, Microsoft are the same in importance. Of uh, the seven updates for Dynamics 365 finance and supply chain management throughout the year, only two or three of them are major. Uh, major updates are major because they um, contain important and uh, even critical changes to the system functionality and uh, to related services. Um, other updates are minor because they generally include uh, only small um, improvements, additional configurations and uh, change in not very popular areas. As an example of uh, Microsoft scheduling of major and uh, minor updates, let's look on the uh, updating plan for this year. Uh, the 10.32 uh, update released in March was uh, a major one and uh, the next major will be in October. Uh, but uh, there are three releases between them uh, which are minors. Uh, although you always have a choice to install uh, the current update or to postpone it, it's very important to remember uh, that you can uh, skip only three updates in a row. Uh, when the fourth update is uh, officially released, it will install automatically uh, and includes all the skipped ones. Uh, it works in such a way because uh, Microsoft has to ensure uh, the inheritability and uh, scalability of the system for all its customer, uh, while at the same time uh, maintain uh, uh, a unified system architecture. Otherwise, it will be impossible to provide uh, regular improvements and updates for everybody. Uh, you can hardly disagree uh, that this approach is a very convenient and uh, practical both uh, for uh, Microsoft, which guarantees a high level of support and uh, efficiency uh, for the system and environments, and also for the customer uh, who receives uh, uh, evergreen version of the system with the la la latest uh, enhancements and bug fixes. Um, nevertheless, uh, this approach has uh, their downside uh, as well. Uh, let me briefly explain how these uh, regular updates work uh, before I will um, uh, tell you. Um, why there could be any problems and uh, risks uh, which business may encounter. Uh, each new update uh, contains changes uh, that can be either new functionality or modifications to existing functionality. And uh, Microsoft uh, provides an overview of the new functionality for sure and uh, does it at least one month ahead of the official release. So you have time to install the upcoming uh, update on your sandbox environment and uh, make some uh, preview and some kind of investigations. Uh, but of course, for all businesses, it would be a great opportunity to save time and uh, to reduce uh, risks by installing only the part of update uh, to get only uh, those changes that are important and relevant for their com company only. Uh, but this approach uh, means that all customers uh, will have uh, a different configuration and that is the reason why uh, all updates um, uh, inevitably installed and in its entirety only. Uh, so the partial installation or to skip more than three updates in a row is the uh, not available option. 
as you can see, what this means for your businesses is that you have to spend a lot of time and efforts to provide a detailed uh, testing before each update, even if you skip miners. And let me tell you why. Uh, because the most difficulty is to evaluate the impact of technical and uh, architecture changes on used functionality, and um, which is even more important on modifications uh, made into the system. Uh, there was a case uh, in our experience I'd like to share. Uh, one of the previous updates uh, contains uh, such meaningful uh, changes in the VHS model uh, that the implemented customization that our customer had uh, must be not just adopted, uh, but practically designed and developed from the very beginning. Uh, of course, such uh, changes are made extremely rarely, um, but um, even slight deviation in uh, critical processes are enough for the familiar operation uh, stop working correctly. Uh, so that's why it's vital to provide a comprehensive testing for uh, almost everything utilized functionality uh, before installing the update. And obviously, it uh, requires a significant amount of uh, time and efforts, which mean costs, uh, because it's usually a large volume of uh, business processes you have to check. And uh, you really want to make sure that uh, you have completed uh, testing with uh, um, high quality and for the full scope. Uh, because if you don't, you are going to um, face an extensive risk of system failure after the update. As a result, many companies postpone updates as much as possible and for the half a year period work with uh, an outdated version of the system and not benefiting from all the advantages of having one of the most powerful ERP systems. Uh, of course, it's impossible to completely abandon testing uh, before the update, uh, but to agree, it would be impressively useful to know which processes and uh, which modifications exactly are affected uh, by the update and uh, focus your efforts uh, on them. And we would like to show how you can achieve this. Our solution based on uh, Microsoft products only uh, is going to provide you a list of system objects uh, that have been modified in your current version of Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation and have also been uh, affected by the new version received from Microsoft. As a result, you will receive uh, uh, not the list of system objects only, uh, but also the task members uh, that may affect it and should undergo thorough testing. Uh, let's consider a little bit more details via an example of a possible scenario of the update installation and uh, a brief demonstration of how Cloud Green Update solution uh, can help to reduce uh, efforts involved in update installation and uh, help to maximize the benefits of your system uh, with each update installation. Andrew, the floor is yours. Thank you, Peter. Uh, so, uh, next. Uh, now we would like to show you a demo process with our solution and let's briefly discuss our scenario so let's imagine we have our customized application and we would like to install an application update our application has some modifications and we would like to assess the impact of the upcoming update to them unfortunately microsoft doesn't provide many details regarding technical changes in the core solution and uh, when we install a new update, it would be good to know all the changes that can impact on our application. So during our demo, we will see how to perform an, analy an analysis of the current application, collect information about the extensions and get the list of features that can be impacted by the update. So all mentioned actions we will do in a demo environment. So uh, let's start our demo and I will switch to my demo machine. Mm, so <clears throat> let's uh, begin with the application versions form. The main idea of this form 
is to collect information about the extended standard application object, track their changes from a development perspective, and have an opportunity to ass assess the impact of updates for different application versions. Mm -hmm. In order to run an analysis of the current application, mm, we need to create a new record on this form and run uh, import data of the current application version operation. Uh, usually, it takes about one or two hours. It depends on the application, of course. And during our demo, I will not run this application. I will use um, uh, a prepared example in advance. Uh, so, and let's take a look at the results. Mm. On the left side of this form, uh, you see two models, application foundation and application suit. Uh, these models are standard. And uh, in our demo data, data, we created extensions for them. So, mm, on the left, uh, on the bottom side of this form, uh, you see metadata page. And here you see three uh, pages, tables, classes, and extended data types. So, uh, you can see that we have some objects here. For example, we have three tables and different kind of extensions for them. AOT extension means that we have metadata extension. For example, we could add a new field or table group or something. And also we have class extension. It means that in our application, we added mm, some new table fields, or oh, I'm sorry, table methods, or for example, we can override standard methods like insert, update, delete, and so on. So, and this information about the extended standard objects will be used further in order to estimate the impact of the update on the current application. So, when we have uh, the full information about extensions in our application, so the next step, we need to perform import of the upcoming update. So, let's discuss this uh, update. Uh, usually, it delivers like a huge uh, archive. For example, you see that uh, the latest update takes about six gigabytes on the hard drive. And in order to start working with this update, we need to extract this archive to a separate folder. Uh, of course, I did it in advance so that we don't waste our time during our demo. If I open the extracted archive, you see that there are a lot of folders and actually these folders have um, a complex structure uh, for example like many files inside uh, if we go to code it will be many many archives so it's close to impossible to work with them manually actually uh, so um, in order to process this code upgrade, we develop this modification. So when we run it, we need to select our application ID that we would like to compare and the path uh, to our um, update. So uh, since, as you see, the update has a huge size, so and our application also has many files, I mean standard, objects and so on so this operation can take maybe like one two hours so i again will not run this operation right now when it's completed mm -hmm. we will see a new form oh, i'm sorry a new record on the comparison history form mm. so and here you see that on the bottom um, we see standard options uh, i'm sorry objects and some of them has uh, the parameter has diff. It means that uh, in two versions, our that we currently use, and in the upcoming updates, the standard objects has have difference from a code perspective. And in theory, it can mean that uh, we may have mm, some inconsistency from a functional perspective. Uh, so, and in order to have uh, clear vision what we can have after that upgrade installation, what, what kind of 
um, objects can be impacted by this update, we have a special report. Um, let me run it. Um, maybe. So actually, here we have no parameters. We can just press OK. Uh, so <clears throat> we see our report on the screen. So here uh, we have um, object name, uh, work item, type of this item and its name. So actually you see that, for example, our DMF data population object uh, was used in two modifications. And uh, you see the name of this modifications and uh, and actually it means that when we install our update this modification can start working a little bit different and uh, for us it may means that we should focus uh, on these modifications during our testing process when we install a new update and uh, this information can be really useful for us because uh, in general when we install a new update uh, we just do a kind of blind testing. I mean, we should test everything and uh, we have no priorities, no ideas and so on. We, ju we just need to follow our test scripts and see how it works. But using this information, we can be focused on the particular tasks or features or functionalities or objects and so on. So in my opinion, it's really useful because uh, I've used this tool many times uh, for our customers, and so I would say it's really helpful. And actually, this uh, information is so key point of our solution. With this information, we can access the impact of the new update on our application from a technical and functional perspective, as I said. We can define business process that should be tested first, and which of them should be tested very thoroughly, since we may have many, many <clears throat> changes and differences uh, so and we also can reduce our testing efforts since we know which process should be tested and also a technical team uh, can have a technical insight of the update so uh, they can adjust uh, a code application to the new update efficiently and uh, all the mentioned options can save time and money during the update process so at this point, uh, I would like to um, stop my demo. So, uh, Peter, uh, the stage is yours. Let's wait a little bit when I switching between environment and presentation. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Andrew, for your stunning demonstration. Uh, I'm sure now it's clear how a new update can affect the modification made in the system and how Cloud Green Update Solution shows uh, which system objects were changed and which modification may affect it uh, by the update thereby significantly narrowed down uh, scope and volume required testing. And for the business, this means uh, vastly reduced uh, labor costs and uh, minimize risk of the system failure. Uh, nowadays, the majority of uh, companies uh, choose the path with minimum updates, uh, generally two or three updates per year. Uh, however, each update uh, contains useful and uh, sometimes uh, necessary functionality that uh, uh, can be used right now to add profit for your business. Um, having innovative and up-to-date technologies will enable you to be the first on the market who can uh, optimize uh, your existing processes and build new business processes. Uh, 
our solution will allow you to uh, enjoy all the benefits offered by one of the most uh, functional and uh, powerful UP system that you already have and at the same time uh, reduce testing costs uh, by half and minimize the risk of the system failure because of updates. Um, getting started with our solution is uh, very easy. As I already told, it's based on uh, Microsoft products only that you already have. Uh, it does not require any additional configuration and it's uh, ready to work right after installation. Um, you don't need any um, external experts involved in this process because instructions and uh, training are already included in the offer of our solution. And uh, one more thing I would like to mention is that our solution is uh, equally convenient to use for both uh, cloud and uh, on-premise installations. So that's it from my side. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, please feel free to ask uh, questions in the chat section. Um, so I'll be pleased to answer them. Gabriel, the stage is yours now. Your microphone is mute. Great. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. Um, um, thank you, Peter and Andrew, for such a comprehensive overview of our solution. And I believe right now it's really clear how it really helps you to, uh, to cost time while uh, during the upgrades of Dynamic 365 finance and operation. And as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of our session, um, we have a um, special offer which is available um, today and as well in, as in May for our, for our guests. It's a um, free trial for one month. I mean, uh, you can use this. I, you can use our solution free for um, absolutely free for one month, and you can really test it how it works in in your case, and you can see the benefits of our solution in life. I mean, in life, not just in testing mode, uh, just like now, but in life, in in your case. Um, and also, I want to say that if you buy um, yearly subscription you will get a 20% discount in total. And th the final point, uh, if, if I can say that, the, the cherry on the pie is um, our center of competence. Uh, we'll, we, um, the point is we don't want our clients to depend on us. So we are creating a um, center of competence in, in, in our clients. We share the knowledge how to support our solution um, by the team of, of the clients, not to depend on us. Um, I think it's uh, it's a really good point. It's really helpful. Uh, if you are interested in our solution, please um, please let us know. Just just write in the chat some sign like a plus, um, and we will contact you after the after the our session. And a few more words about our additional resources. Right now on the screen, you can see the uh, QR codes. The first one, I mean, the, big, the biggest one is the, um, additional information about our solution, Cloud Green Update Solution, uh, which is already published on Microsoft App Source. And you can use this link to, 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 to read additional information if you want. And please, if you have, uh, uh, some questions. I mean, during our session, during the reading of additional resources, or um, I don't know any other questions about the platform, Dy Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. Please uh, feel free to ask our experts. Uh, you can see links um, below. I mean, Peter and Andrew. It's um, direct links to their LinkedIn profiles. Please feel free to ask them directly. And I believe right now uh, that's all with the main part and we can start our Q&A session. And right now I see uh, two questions um, in the chat. The first one is, um, okay, what technologies do you use for the code analysis process? 
Um, I believe uh, that's the question for Andrew. Andrew, please help us. What uh, technologies do we use? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good question. So actually, in our solution, we use standard metadata, metadata and DevOps APIs. And uh, the connection to the DevOps branch is secured with a personal access token. Mm -hmm. So it's a standard technology. We don't use something our from our own, I mean. I think extraordinary. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And the second one is um, from Mary. Mary, um, Mary is ask, asks us, may we encounter with any conflicts with the modification uh, made in our system or with the ISV solutions that we use when installing your solution? I think the second one is for Peter. Peter, please help us with this. Yeah, um, thank you, Mary, for the question. Uh, my answer will be um, absolutely no, uh, because our solution uh, is independent and uh, have uh, almost nothing related to business functions. So yes, um, yeah, there are no any chances that our solution can uh, bother any of your processes or any modifications uh, made on your system. Super. Thank you, Peter. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all. For, um, that's all for the Q and A sessions. I don't see any other questions. So thank you, Peter and Andrew. And oh, no, I, I believe there is one more question right now from Katherine. Um, what about the implementation process of your solution? First steps. Yeah, it's a good one. You can help us. So I think actually I can help, I guess. Uh, so of course the first step should be uh, installation of the solution and then it is needed to perform some setups. Uh, we have a special parameters form um, uh, in our solution and the uh, first step, I think uh, you should create personal access token in your DevOps so that our solution can have access to your uh, Dev DevOps branch in order to get uh, task IDs, uh, feature IDs, their description, uh, so and so on. So uh, I think uh, this is the main requirement for our solution. Mm -hmm. um, thank, thank you, Andrew. And please, if we we answer the question, and thank you. Uh -huh, okay, thank you from Katerine. Thank you, Andrew. Um, and right now, yes, I think that's all. For, um, for the Q&A session, and we're going to the to the final part, I believe. Um, a few words about our upcoming webinars. Um, we'll be hosting um, some 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 webinars, as you can see on the screen. The first will be on the next week. Uh, it will be about staying staying ahead of the sustainability curve. I believe sustainability right now is a really trendy topic for all companies. Um, it's really important topic, and I believe you will be interesting um, how, how to be how to stay ahead of this um, of this um, really trendy really trendy sustainability topic. Um, also, in the next week, um, we will make um, uh, we'll be hosting the webinar which dedicated to Dynamic 365 Navision. Um, it's called Do Not Migrate, Just Optimize. Um, it will be about how to optimize your inst installation, your Navision installation. Um, and uh, the week after, uh, we will have a demo overview of the latest features of a uh, new version of uh, Dynamic 365 supply chain management, uh, with, also with our regular experts, Peter and Andrew. And please follow us LinkedIn. You can see uh, the link on the screen, QR code. Um, not to miss um, upcoming news, some, some latest news features. Please stay tuned and follow us LinkedIn. And I believe if there is no, there are no questions, uh, we can, we can, I believe right now we can end our webinar. So, 
Thank you. Thank you, Peter and Andrew again. Uh, thank you all our guests. Um, have, have the best rest of your day and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.